Hey guys, Tom here from NaturalDogTrainer.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about pulling harnesses and how they work. Now there are dozens of products out there that guarantee that they're the best dog pulling harness on the market, but could that actually be true? Well the honest answer to that question is yes and no. The reason the answer is both yes and no is because all dog pulling harnesses has to do is stop a dog from pulling and that can be accomplished with one simple element that all of the effective ones have in common. Here's how it works. The single common feature in an effective dog pulling harness is the leash connection. See when a dog pulls on a harness with a connection between the shoulder blades or in the middle of the back, it's actually counterproductive. The typical harness has the connection there and when uh, the connection's in that area, it doesn't do anything to correct the pulling behavior. In fact, it becomes an actual dog pulling harness, like the ones they use in competition, like the Iditarod, a competition for sled dogs. When the connection is moved from the back or, or the shoulder to the chest area, then you create an anti-pulling harness. Now, when your pet pulls, all he can do is turn to face you. First, it's going to confuse your dog. When he gets used to the, to the harness, he's going to learn that in order to move forward, he can't pull. You really don't need a dog pulling harness if you trained your dog to walk at your heel from the time you were, you know, it was a puppy. But, you know, training this behavior should begin as soon as you get your dog, even if he's a puppy. Early training um, stops bad habits way before they start. I mean, a lot of people, you tell them, I need this harness, I need that harness, I need a bark collar. I need, you don't really need anything. You need to take the time and train your dog. Um, okay, here we've got three effective choices for the for the pulling harness. I don't, I'm not really endorsing any of these. I'm just giving you the three that I think they're the best. One's the halty harness, and it's probably it was one of the first ones to incorporate the front clip in the chest area. Uh, it's well padded, um, and and the hardware is good on it. Next is the gentle leader. Uh, a lot of people pick this one right away. Um, it's, it's soft, it's flexible, it's nylon webbing, you know, with the high quality hardware. And then, then you got the Trixie dog pulling harness. It, it's a harness that's, in my opinion, a little more cost effective version of the General Leader. The clips are a little cheaper, but, you know, if, if you, if cost is a issue, then by all means use that one. But the common element at every harness is the, where the leader connects to the to the harness. It's always got to be in the chest area if the harness is to be successful. Now, there are a few good choices out on the market that that'll work to correct the pulling habits, but if you take the time to train your dog to walk in the correct position, you'll never need a harness. It, well, unless you plan to run the Iditarod. I'm Tom from the uh, NaturalDogTrainer.com. Feel free to stop by for more videos, guides, articles, product reviews, and anything dog. Uh, happy day, and we'll see you later.